नमस्कार अ वॉम ग्रीटिंग्स टू ऑल ऑफ यू नो वोटर लेफ्ट बिहाइंड दिस इज द मोटो ऑफ ऑनरेबल इलेक्शन कमीशन ऑफ इंडिया एंड ऑफिस ऑफ सी ई ओ गोवा ऑफिस ऑफ सी ई ओ गोवा हैज़ बीन मेकिंग एवरी एफर्ट नो एफर्ट इज पैड एंड टू इन्वॉल्व एंड टू सीक मैक्सिमम पार्टिसिपेशन इन द फेस्टिवल वेर you can exercise your democratic right to vote this webinar is one of the uh, efforts to educate the service voters with a purpose to enlighten you the procedure uh, various facilities which are made uh, available to you by election commission of india and this is uh, uh, to uh, help you to understand the simple steps of uh, uh, getting registered yourself as a service voter and what kind of system is available to you to uh, cast your vote and we will also understand few steps few simple steps on so that you can uh, cast your vote in the right manner first of all let us understand who can be uh, who can he is eligible to become a service voter a service voter is uh one who one who is serving in the armed forces union or the other uh, organizations coming under armed uh, forces act and those brothers and sisters who are uh, employed in the uh, under government of india and who are posted overseas service voters uh, registration can also be availed by the state armed forces who are deployed outside the state in addition to this election commission has uh, gone one step ahead and considered uh, 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 registration of the wife of a service voter also so that uh, she all can also avail the facility and uh, cast her vote now let us understand uh, what is the procedure uh, for registration as a service voter and that's very simple you can uh, visit the servicevoter.eci.nic.in there the forms are available in hindi as well as english all you need to do is you need to download the form form 2 2a or form 3 can be downloaded you need to take a print of the same and have two hard copies with you you need to fill the complete form with all the details please take care that the address of the the residential address is properly uh, mentioned in details along with the pin code so that the identification of the constituency and other details uh, becomes possible for the ero once you fill the form you need to submit the same to the record office or unit office the record office or unit officer uh, office will uh, counter sign these forms and they will post these forms to the office of ceo goa ceo office will digitize these forms and uh, forward the same to the returning officers or sorry the electoral returning officers so once they approve then your name will appear in the electoral roll after publication so once you are registered as a, ser a service voter you have some additional uh, facilities like uh, you can visit the national service vo uh, voter services portal nvsp.in and you can also visit ceo office website that is ceo goa.nic.in in addition to that you have a toll free number 1950 and of course there are other uh, uh, facebook and uh, twitter contacts are also there one more excellent facility which is available is you can download your e epic so this uh, this is also a new feature which has been introduced by election commission one key point uh, to note here is the wife of a service voter can also avail registration but the husband of a, a female service voter is not having this facility in addition to that the service voter uh, who is uh, residing in the place of posting for a longer time for longer durations can also has an option to enroll themselves as a general voter 
So for this, you will have to use Form 6, and you will have to use uh, uh, to access the National uh, Voter Services Portal (NVSP.in). Now let us understand who, what are the other options available for a service voter. A service voter normally will have to cast their vote using a postal ballot. They can also cast uh, their vote through a proxy. So, uh, casting a vote through a proxy means you need to you will be nominating a person to cast your vote. So, for this all you need to do is you need to download the form 13 F get it attested and you need to sub, uh, notarize it uh, through a first class magistrate and then you need to submit this to the elect ERO the respective ERO. So, once you have opted for a proxy voting this will continue for all the, uh, the elections unless you revoke or revert back by uh, submitting the form 13 G. Please note that once you are if you are registered as a service voter and if you want to register yourself as a general voter then you will need to get your name deleted first from the electoral roll. So, please apply for a deletion and then uh, you get yourself enrolled as a general voter. During uh, 2014 elections what we have noticed what election commission has noticed is the voter turnout of service voters was hardly 4 percent. So, and election commission has uh, take uh, spared no efforts and uh, to improve the uh, voter turnout they have introduced a system named electronically transmitted postal ballot system. This system enables instant transmission of postal ballots to the respective record and unit offices from which the e postal ballot can be disseminated to the service voter and service and enable the service voter to cast their vote and post the same to the res uh, respective returning officer. So, after the int introduction of this system it was observed that the uh, turnout in uh, during 2019 elections was 60.14. And during 9, 2019, a record service voter registration took place about 18 lakhs. So, in the ETPBA system, the returning officer basically transmits a post the postal ballot electronically to the record office. The record office downloads all the, uh, these e postal ballots, they take a print and give it to the respective service voter these uh, uh, postal ballots are downloaded, the printouts are taken and given to the respective service voter. Let us see the contents of a e postal ballot. The e postal ballot basically consists of 12 pages. The first two pages compute, I mean consists of the list of contents. The next two pages will be the e postal ballot paper. Then form 13 A declaration also uh, is available. Form 13 B is the cover A of the inner envelope. Form 13 C is the cover of the outer envelope and form 13 D is nothing but instructions to guide the service voter. Now, let us see how does an e-postal ballot look like. A uh, e-postal ballot will uh, somewhat look like this. Here there will be a e postal ballot id the assembly constituency and the qr code also will be there and these are are the two pages of the declaration form the declaration form will have to be properly completely filled and it has to be attested by the nodal officer of the record of unit office this is the cover a which is the uh, slip cover of inner envelope that is the smaller envelope a printout has to be taken of uh, printout of the of course, uh, you will be labeling this on the you will be pasting this on the inner envelope. This is the cover B which is to be pasted on the form 13 C that is the bigger envelope. Please take note that the 
form 13 C will have to be signed by the service voter. You do not have to worry about the assembly constituency and the return of returning officer address etcetera because it is already pre printed. So, once again let us uh, uh, go through the entire process the e postal ballot will have to be printed you need to have two envelopes in hand one is the smaller envelope one is the bigger envelope you need to cut the form cover a and cover b slips and you need to paste them, them on the uh, cover a will go on the smaller envelope cover b will go on the bigger envelope then most important is you need to take the ballot paper and you need to cast your vote to cast your vote you need to to either do a tick tick mark or you need to do a cross only tick mark and cross is acceptable any other kind of a marking on the postal ballot or even if the marking in the uh, goes beyond the rectangle then it it might be rejected so kindly note that you are using a tick mark or a cross within the rectangle itself against the candidate you want to vote cast. Then please fold the postal ballot with three folds and then you insert that in the inner smaller envelope and you should paste it with the gum and then you need to have the signed declaration form for please fold it. Then you take the inner envelope and the declaration form both should be enclosed in the outer envelope and the outer envelope should be sealed and finally, you can do a post. Please keep in mind that the few mistakes normally which can lead to rejection of your uh, uh, vote are one is using any mark other than a tick mark or a cross. Second, while registering uh, for uh, uh, while filling the form 2, 2A and 3 also your uh, form should be completely filled and submitted. Incomplete forms also will be rejected and you may not uh, uh, get registered as a service voter. 3. The form B that is form 13 C should be the outer envelope should be signed. If a signature is not there that also becomes one reason for rejection of your vote. So, we are looking forward for your uh, participation in the upcoming elections. Thank you.